Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen of One Noteworthy Life, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create links within OneNote. Of course, OneNote can handle links to web pages and URLs. Those links will open a, in a web browser. But this video will specifically show you how to create links within OneNote from one location to another location, all within OneNote. I'm filming on OneNote for Windows 10, so if your screen looks different than mine, it may be because you're using a different version or a different device. I don't know of any, of any significant differences in the way OneNote links work on the various versions of OneNote, but if you do find a significant difference, um, let me know by dropping a comment below. So before we talk about links, I wanted to give you just a quick overview of how OneNote is organized so that you can see how these links might work. On this slide, you'll see an image that shows you how your OneNote account is set up. At the very top, you have your entire OneNote account. And that's up here in black. Um, at the next, the next level down, you have uh, notebooks. And I think the best way to think of these notebooks is kind of like digital three ring binders. They have tabbed sections and then in the sections, there are pages just like in a three ring binder. And you can move things around at will just like you could in a three ring binder or binders. And now this is a really basic diagram of how OneNote is organized. Um, just for completeness, I want to add that there is also a way of creating section groups and subpages. So there are even more levels of organization if you want or need them. When you start to use OneNote a lot, whether it's for your work or your personal life or both, your account can get really large and you might have a lot of different notebooks and sections. So being able to navigate easily is a big benefit. You can always go from place to place within OneNote by using your mouse. For example, if you want to go from one page in a notebook to a different page in a different notebook, you could do that with mouse clicks alone, but it may take a lot of clicks or a lot of scrolling. Um, if you find you're spending a lot of time getting from place to place, you might find it convenient to add some links so that you can quickly and easily leap from location to location using those links. So let me show you where you can link to within OneNote. So first, you can link to a, just a whole notebook. You can also link to a section within a notebook. You can link to a page, and then you can also link to a paragraph on a page. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to link to a notebook. Um, on this page, I've already created a link to a notebook that I have for a class in criminal profiling that I took. It was just kind of an interest of mine. Um, I'm going to click on that link and you'll see that it'll take us right to that notebook. So here we go, I'm clicking on it. And here we are in my criminal profiling notebook. And you can tell we're in the right notebook because the notebook name is here in the upper left of my screen, right where it says profiling. From this quick demo, you can see that having a link to a notebook is super fast, and it, I just jumped right from where I was to this notebook. Now I'm going to go back to my demo notebook and um, without using a link. So I'm going to uh, click on the name of this notebook, which is Profiling, and it's going to bring a drop-down list of all my notebooks. And so I'm going to click on the one I go to, one I want to go to, which is my demo notebook. And it went right back to where we were. This is the page we were on. So uh, not super hard, but you can definitely see that using your mouse to get back is not as fast as having a link that you can click. So to show you how to create a link to a notebook, we're going to go into that profiling notebook and create a link back to the demo notebook so that we have links going both ways and can jump easily back and forth between those two notebooks. So first I'm going to jump to my profiling notebook using my link. And then I'm going to add a page um, just to make this really clear and easy to look at. Um, you could put this link anywhere on, on any page, but it's just um, I wanted to be able to make it really visible. So uh, from that the notebook name here, Profiling. I'm going to click on that and it brings up the drop down menu of all of my notebooks. I'm going to right click on the demo notebook and click Copy Link to Notebook. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste that right here. Let me just make that text a bit bigger. And 
you can see that when I click, it takes me right back to my demo notebook. And now I can click my profiling link and it takes me back to the profiling notebook. So um, you can just quickly jump right back and forth. And I'm just going to show you that one more time in case it's not clear. So we're in my profiling notebook. You can see because it says profiling up here, I'm going to click the link to my demo notebook. And now we're back in my demo notebook. So um, my Star Trek fans might call that a wormhole. <laughs> and uh, now we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to link to a section. So for this demo, I am going to link to a section within this same notebook called Intro to Tables. It's the fifth one down right here in the section list. And just like we did with the notebook, I'm going to right click on it and click Copy Link to Sections. I'm going to go back to that page and paste it. Just make it a little bigger. And we are in a section called links. You can tell that because it's in the section list uh, highlighted up here. And when I click on this link, it's going to take me, we are now in this section called intro to tables. So that's how you create a link to a particular section. So the next uh, link we're going to do is how to link to a page. So for this, I'm going to link to the page in this same section that we're in, and it's called the OneNote Hierarchy page. So you might be seeing a pattern here where uh, for each of these links we create, I'm going to right click and then there's an option to copy a link to this thing. So I'm going to do the same thing here for the page. I'm going to right click on the OneNote Hierarchy page. And copy link to page. I'm going to come back here, paste it, make it bigger. Um, and now we're on this page called link to page. I'm going to click the, my link and now we're on the page called OneNote Hierarchy. So just like that. And then the last thing I want to show you is uh, the link to paragraph. Um, so we just did a link to a page, but if you have a really long page, you might want to link to a specific paragraph or spot on that page. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And so uh, I have this page with a lot of text on it and I want to link to the second paragraph on this page. So I'm going to click somewhere in this second paragraph. And as you can see right next to the, the first line here where it says EA, there's a little flag um, or arrow that looks like a sideways flag. And if I right click on that, I have a link, uh, an option to copy link to paragraph. So I'm going to come back to that page where I want it, paste it, just make it a little bigger. Um, and when I click that, you'll see that it not only takes me to the page that contains that paragraph, it takes me to the paragraph and highlights it for me. So that's really handy, um, again, if you have a really long page with a lot of text on it. So now we've covered uh, four different types of links you can create in OneNote. And I just want to show you a uh, really cool kind of shortcut for creating links. So you can use uh, the right angle brackets. You can you use a double set in the front, double set in the back uh, to create a link to a page. So I'm going to demonstrate th this for you. Um, I'm going to create a new page called Blueberry. And at the same time, I'm going to create a link to it. So I'm going to do these two angle brackets. Type Blueberry and close it up with angle brackets. Now, if you look down here at the bottom of my page list, we do have a page called Blueberry. And if I click on the link I just created, it takes me to the page called Blueberry. And then one thing I want to point out is that this link here, it currently has a dotted line instead of a solid line, and that's because there's no content on the Blueberry page. So I'm going to go ahead and create, uh, click on that. I'm going to put some content here. And when I go back, you can see that the link to the page called Blueberry is now has a solid underline on it. You can use the same trick to create a link to an existing page. So I'm going to link to the page called OneNote Hierarchy. And again, if I click it, it takes me to my page called OneNote Hierarchy. 
Now, the one thing I want to caution you of, caution you, caution you for, is to watch for spelling errors because um, if I make a spelling error, it won't pick it up and correct it for you. It will actually just create. Um, a new page like you can see it just created a page called one notes hierarchy which is not what i wanted i wanted to link to the page called one note hierarchy so just watch for that it's no big deal and then finally the last thing i want to mention is just going back to those two-way links so just consider creating a link in the reverse direction whenever you create a link because that'll allow you to easily jump back and forth between two locations so that's it. That's how to create links in OneNote. Uh, if you have questions or comments or something you want to see in more detail, leave a comment on this video and I will do my best to answer you. If you want to see more OneNote tutorials like this, as well as videos on goal setting, productivity, and life management, please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button and let me know you like this by hitting the thumbs up button. One great way to get a hold of me is to come onto Facebook and join the OneNote Bullet Journal group. We have uh, the largest group of OneNote users on Facebook, and it's a really active, encouraging, positive group with lots of really smart people. So I'd love to see you there as well. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.